Greetings everyone and welcome. I hope you are all doing well. Before we get into today's video, I just want to thank all my subscribers, members and viewers for your continual support. All I always ask is that if you find these videos beneficial, to like and share them so that someone else can benefit as well. Okay, today I want to look at what the narcissist may do and how they feel when they realize you are better off. After they try to break you, crush you, even obliterate you, to find that you are still standing and thriving, how does that make them feel? First of all, we need to understand that narcissists are some of the most envious and jealous people you will ever come across. Envy consumes the narcissist and that is why there is nothing worse that you can do to a narcissist than truly live your life and be happy without them. True happiness is something that is out of reach for narcissists. Yes, some of them may get success and they do receive love, attention and money but for narcissists, even that is never enough to fill the deep, dark void that they have inside. And those feelings of happiness are fleeting. Therefore, narcissists are driven to make others' lives miserable. If you are miserable, that brings the narcissist a bit more happiness or rather comfort knowing that they are not the only ones feeling miserable. Remember, misery loves company and narcissists want everyone around them to be miserable in one way or the next. So when I talk about being better off, I am not just referring to financial or material success. What is even more important is your emotional and mental health because narcissists can suss through the material stuff and sophisticated job titles and pick up on if you are hurting or harboring any negative emotions and unforgiveness. If you are able to go no contact where the narcissist cannot see you or hear from you or about you, that is usually the best as it allows you to heal without any distractions because flying monkeys and the narcissist love to drag you down and keep you stuck. Trying to heal in their presence takes a bit more effort on your part, but it all depends on how much damage the narcissist had caused in the first place. In situations where you still have to endure with seeing the narcissist, mastering your emotions is essential. This is something I explained in this video where I emphasized how grey rocking and being nonchalant around the narcissist is important. It is learning to be silent but doing it with the right attitude. That is what confuses the narcissist. Because when a narcissist comes into contact with a past victim, they are looking for the wounds that they inflicted. They are looking to see the results of their labor. They are hoping you are worse off without them. They are hoping you have not been able to move forward. But also, if you obsess about the narcissist and try to play their game of tit for tat, the narcissist will be up for the challenge and it will make them feel good about themselves to realize that you are stuck. It gives them satisfaction to know that you are too damaged to be repaired, that you are bitter, angry, and hungry for revenge. These negative emotions will stop you from truly healing and moving on. But also, these negative emotions can cause you to attract further negativity into your life. So when I talk about being better off, after narcissistic abuse, it calls for a total renovation of your mind and emotions, self-development on all levels. As I always say, strong mind, strong body, strong spirit. On the flip side of the coin, 
when a narcissist comes in contact with a past victim who is healed on all levels and blossoming with new life, it dampens their mood. Of course, they may pretend to be all smiles and even fake delight in seeing you in a better state, but inside they are raging and fuming. Because after a narcissist has endeavored to destroy you and ruin your reputation, relationships, and rid you of your light, nothing bothers them more than when they realize you have risen from the ashes. It disturbs them when they realize you have moved on to better and brighter things. It angers them when you live as though they don't matter or even exist in your world. In many cases, they will hide these true feelings, but be rest assured you have disturbed them beyond measure. So do expect when this happens that the narcissist may come snooping around, trying to get a piece of that action, shutting them out and not giving them the time of day will add insult to injury and make them wish they may have treated you differently or kept you around. But we are already aware of the dangers of allowing a narcissist back into your life. Despite all good intentions, they will default back into destruction mode, but will be 10 times more careful to keep you off the scent with their love bombing. When you happen to have a run-in with an old narcissist and they realize you are better off, the less you interact with them, the better, as you don't need their approval, attention, or validation in any way. Instead, blind them with your progress and light and leave them groping for you in the dark. Because narcissists can only wish to have what we have and experience life and love the way we do. And that is why envy consumes them. Your survival, your strength, your happiness, your healing after narcissistic abuse is the best revenge. So protect your peace, protect your spirit, and let your light shine. As usual, I hope you all found this helpful. Please leave me a comment below. Thank you.